Listen to this. Okay, so we're going to fix that in this video. Just keep watching. How's it guys? So on my Ender 3, I ran into a bit of a problem. My cooling fan has failed. Uh, it is making a terrible noise and not properly cooling. So you get what's called heat creep up the heat pipe. So not a good situation to be in. So I need to replace the part cooling fan. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to put a silent fan in there. So I bought the Orion fan from uh, Print or Die. And uh, you can go check out their website. It's on them. Uh, it's about 149 Rand in South Africa. I'm not exactly sure how much it is in dollars, but it's a cool, it's a silent cooling fan. So I'm hoping that uh, when we fit this, we'll have a, a quieter uh, pot cooling fan. So quite excited about this. Uh, what we'll need for this one is we'll need an Allen key, uh, a set of Allen keys. I highly recommend you print out the, the screw tray from uh, DIY Electronics actually modeled this up. I will put the Thingiverse link below and it's a real great little piece of, a, um, of, of accessory to have while you're working on your printer. You're also going to need a soldering iron and some solder and of course some heat shrink. So I've got some great heat shrink here. Uh, again, um, uh, guys, DIY Electronics did not sponsor this video, but I bought this from DIY Electronics as well. A great set of, of heat shrink. Uh, this thing has become so useful. When I first bought this, I thought, yeah, do I really need the different sizes? Man, it is, is so useful. It is so nice to have around. So uh, again, not an expensive item, uh, but really worth it. I'm going to use my Dremel uh, blowtorch to shrink the heat shrink. You can use the side of your soldering iron, but I prefer to just give it with a little bit of heat from the uh, Dremel. So let's, without further ado, let's get started. Let's get this done. Um, I've got the Orion fan over here, and uh, this is a uh, a silent fan. If you look on it, you'll see that it shows you the direction of the airflow. So the blades turn this way, and the air blows that way by the arrows on top here, which is really useful. Uh, and it helps you to position it inside your your uh, Creality printer properly and make sure everything is set up. So let's get started. Oh, you'll also need a pair of cutters, obviously, to cut the wire. So I'm just going to quickly pop uh, this here off the, the, the shroud. Um, I've had some comments about the way I use Allen keys. So um, yeah, please excuse if you if you find it a bit weird. Um, I actually learned the technique that I sometimes use, not this, this rotating technique, um, from um, um, teaching tech. Teaching Tech has a great technique of using an Allen key, which I really enjoy using. But at this angle, it's a little bit of a difficult one to do. So um, I'm not going to do it quite at the moment. Right. Okay, let's now, if you look inside here, is the pot cooling fan, which I'm going to pop out quickly. So let's just take this out and do some screws here. And we're nearly there. Right. Once we've got this pot fan out. Let's just pop the screws inside here so I know where they are. That's why I love this little uh, printable screw holder. It holds the tools, it holds the screws. It's great. It's really a great, a great idea. Now, if you look inside the fan here, you can desolder the two wires, but inside this one here, it's a little bit too far down and I'll probably damage the wires soldering. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut this off and then we will uh, that's why I put the soldering on here and the heat shrink and we'll put a piece of heat shrink on there and do it that way I prefer that method all right so I'm just going to cut this off here let me give it enough and I'm going to skin it back obviously you make sure your printer is off at the moment uh, you don't want your printer to be to be on all right so I'll skin those two pieces off then we are going to cut this quite short because I don't want to make it too long. Let's just cut that off there and we can just skin that wire there like that. Okay. Now you obviously want to take your heat shrink and slip it on before you solder everything. So I just like to put the wires a little bit neat and twist my heat shrink on, give it a little bit of a twist and slide it down. Okay. 
I'm going to trim this heat shrink down just a little bit because it's a little bit long. So I think I'll just cut it in half and I'll cut the red one in half. Don't be too daunting, uh, daunted about this, um, this project. It's not difficult. It's easy. And uh, we are going to get the bonus of not just replacing our fan, but also getting the cooling. So I'm just going to twist that on. You want to take the heat shrink down quite far past where you're soldering because when your heat is on here, it causes the heat shrink to shrink. So you don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to take this black. And it's quite nice. With this pack of heat shrink, you get different colors. So I can match my colors up quite nicely and it looks good. So I'm going to I apologize about the direction that I'm working on here. It's a little bit awkward, but I'm going to twist these together. Now, there's a lot of school of thought about twisting wires together. I just like to give them a good solid twist and then we'll solder them, making a perfect connection and we'll have no issues later on. Right, so now it's nicely twisted together. And then we can just take our soldering iron. I've got a nice sponge here that I can clean the soldering iron. And we take a little bit of solder. This roll of solder has lasted me forever. I've had this for so long. Uh, I don't do a lot of soldering projects, so it, I've had it forever. All right. Now, a little tip with soldering. What you do is you have a little bit of solder on the tip. You go underneath the wire and you feed the top above. So if you if you look here, I go under the wire and then I feed from above onto the wire itself. And in that way, you get a perfect solder joint. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect amount of solder, not too much. You don't want to put too much on. I'm going to trim off the edges. Now, before I put the heat shrink on, I just want to test and make sure my fan is all working. So I make sure the wires are separated and not going to short out. We turn it on. Gosh, it is nice and quiet, eh? That's a lot more quiet than, than the other fan. I'm happy with that. Great, and we're getting a great stream of air flowing through there. I'm extremely happy about this. Now we slide the heat shrink over, making sure that your, your solder uh, joint is folded in the opposite direction to what you're sliding your heat shrink so that it slides over and doesn't pierce through. You wanna make sure it doesn't pierce through. Now. You can use the side of your soldering iron to uh, to do it. I just like to use, or a lighter to shrink the heat shrink. I've got this beautiful Dremel uh, here, and I can just shrink that down nice and quick. Whoopsie, a little bit hot there. Okay, shrink that down nice and quickly and get a good heat shrink over there. Right, now that, that is shrunk down nicely and my joints are good. We're going to fire up one more test before we put everything together. Make sure that it turns on. And there it is, nicely spinning away. Nice and quiet too. It's a lot quieter than the old fan was. Although we'll find out how much quieter it is inside the shroud because obviously that does amplify the sound a little bit. Right, so now that we've got everything soldered up, we want to now mount the uh, fan back inside the shroud. You want to make sure that the label side uh, on this fan, if you look at the top here, you've got your arrow pointing in the direction of the flow. So you want your label pointing towards your hot end so that it blows over the fins and pushes the cool air onto the fins. And this is where we'd run into a little bit of a problem. Okay, I've noticed something on here. The Orion does not have countersunk screws. Um, there's no countersink. And on the original Creality fan, there is a countersink screw. So my screws don't fit all the way through. These just come up short coming through here. Luckily, I have some additional longer screws, ever so slightly longer. So you will need to get longer screws. So be aware of this. Make sure that when you start doing this, that your screws will go through the, the new fan. Take one of the screws out of your fan in your Creality and make sure to go through so that you won't be hit with this problem. Thank goodness I managed to have a couple of spares on hand. So it wasn't too big a deal for me. So I'm gonna fit this back in. And here's the funny technique that I get laughed at. <laughs> I appreciate the comment from, from one of my users who commented about the way I use Allen keys, but it works. And I give, I give great thanks to Teaching Tech to teaching me this technique because it works really well. Right, so 
Luckily, I had screws that were slightly longer and they managed to fit through. So I've put that in. Now we can put the whole assembly back together and make sure that everything runs smoothly. So let's put that back on. I've got my other screws here. So another technique I like to use is you hold the screw with one finger and then it makes it easier to screw in. I do apologize for making this look so awkward because I am sitting at a really awkward angle to show you guys. Oh boy. <laughs> and of course it falls. So let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. It is very awkward to do this technique that I love doing uh, at this angle. But here we go. We've got our first screw in. Let's get our second one. And we'll use the finger trick. And we'll get that to go. Right. Beautiful. And you go. Here we go, and you go. So we can use another bit of a technique here. I'm gonna tighten that up. And there we go. Let's turn it on to check to see if it's still working. Everything is all good. Oh, it's nice and quiet. It's not super quiet, but it's a lot quieter than the, the stock uh, fan. So I am happy about that. And all is working well. And away we can go. We can carry on printing now. Because with that heat creep, it starts to block the thing and you get, uh, it starts to block the burden tube and you get under extrusion. So watch out. If you're getting under extrusion, make sure that your fan over here is okay and that it's blowing in the right direction. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you like this. Uh, subscribers are starting to grow. The channel is starting to grow, guys. I'm really excited about this. Come back soon. I will have another video next week. And um, I'm hoping to do a video that I've been wanting to do forever. I'm going to be doing the Octoprint video because I love Octoprint. And it is super useful with the printer like the Ender 3. Guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. God bless.